close your eyes and watch your breath. Watch it all the way in and all the way out, and then with the next breath, and then with the next breath. Just stay right here. Get the mind used to being right here. And the question arises, what, what are you going to learn? Well, you're going to learn a lot of things, but there's no promise as to how quickly it'll come. But you'll be right here. Because the important things you need to know in your life are right here. The, the intentions you're making, the intentions that you're following, they happen right here in the present moment. And if you're not here to watch them, you don't know what they're doing, why they're coming up, why you choose to follow one intention rather than another. A lot of these things get put onto automatic pilot. Like a car on automatic pilot without a driver, it can drive off the road very quickly. So you want to be right here and try to be sensitive to what's happening, patient with what's happening. Patience is an important quality because a little bit of pain comes up and the mind runs away. And then it doesn't get to see what's right here, what's behind the pain, what brings the pain on, what comes in the wake of the pain. We don't see it because we're either trying to push the pain away or running away from it. It's the same with any disturbance, anything we don't like. We have to be able to sit with it for a while to watch it, to understand it. If you don't watch things carefully, if you don't watch them over time, you're not going to understand them. And so your efforts to get rid of them are not going to be really fruitful. You just go on the force of your your dislike of them, or your impatience. And that doesn't give any knowledge at all. Knowledge comes from patience, watching things over time so you can see them, and asking some questions, probing here, probing there, but being willing to watch and willing to stick with something for a long time. Otherwise you don't know anything. This is how we gain discernment, not just by learning concepts and reading books and thinking through things. We have to be willing to watch things carefully, even things we don't like. Because sometimes the things we don't like have good things behind them. In other words, important insights come behind them. And if you're not there for them, you miss the insight. So we have to learn some patience and some equanimity, That putting up with the fact there are things we don't like in life, and if we want to get rid of them, we have to live with them for a while to understand them. Watch them for a while. And then we see through them, okay, then that's it. We've done, we're done with them. If we lack patience, we don't see. So try to develop some patience, try to develop some equanimity as you deal with the problems of life. Because sometimes the first reaction is not the best reaction. Sometimes you have to wait and see, where is this actually coming from? There may be many layers in there that you don't see. So we work with the breath to give ourselves a comfortable place to stay while we're dealing with uncomfortable things. If the mind doesn't have any sense of comfort at all, it can't stay. It's going to run away, but at least you give it some place where it can breathe easily, breathe comfortably. And then in the midst of the things that you don't like, you have a place where you can settle down. And that gives you the strength to really look deeper into the things you don't like until you see right through them. That's how we solve the problems in life. 